Hey, Happy New Year's guys, bringing you your December market update here about the 5th of January. Um, but again, I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. We got to spend some great time with your family. I know we certainly did. And uh, here we are heading into 2023. We hear the news. I wanna bring you the data so that you can make great choices moving into 2023 in this market where again, we're hearing the news, but how does the data line up? I want you guys to be able to make good decisions if you're looking to buy or sell in 2023 based on data and based on knowledgeable experts in the field. So let's just jump right in. Also, by the way, we have a new tool. It's called howsmyvalue.com. Everything that we're thinking about right now inside of our organization is that home buyers and sellers need to be up to speed on the changes in the market, which obviously could affect sales prices, values. And so this How's My Value tool is going to allow you to plug in your information and then it'll give you a real time estimate of your home. It will also update you anytime there's a sale relative to your home. Um, and that will also give you a one, a, a, excuse me, an every month update based on those changes. So let's just jump right in. December average sales prices, uh, up about 11% between Fenton and Linden. Okay, so another positive sign. Again, we're hearing doom and gloom, we're hearing interest rates, and yes, interest rates exist, but they're not having that big of an impact on the market yet, which is really interesting. December, number of homes for sale. Now this one is, is skewed a little bit in the linen area, and it's probably because of new builds, right? Um, Fenton is up 7%. In Linden, it's showing us that we're up 77%, but I'm sure there's, you know, a lot of times a sub will get listed, a subdivision, uh, and it's just a bunch of vacant lots, but they're selling the spec of the home. Probably where we're seeing that big difference, let's revert to Fenton, up 7%. It's probably gonna be similar in Linden as well. Uh, December average days on the market. Um, Fenton is up 18%. Now, again, in Fenton, you're seeing more high-end prices, right? Where homes maybe would sit a little bit longer, especially if they're waterfront homes in the winter, okay? Which again, if you're a seller and you've got a waterfront home in the winter, uh, working with us, we would probably have a strategy so that you didn't sit on the market all winter long and rack up your days on the market. Uh, average days on the market for Linden, down 10%. But really guys, you're talking about 38 to 32, not a big number, 28 to 25 not a big number the percentage seems a little bit larger let's move along with the next um, data point which is number of new listings uh, fenton down eight eight and a half percent from 763 to 695 linden is up 14 percent from 325 to 373 those are new homes coming to the market in december december average price per square foot is up on average about 10 percent between the two markets so another positive sign prices continue to rise. That's all we've got for you, friends. Uh, again, I hope you had a great 2022, a great Christmas, a great new year. Uh, let's jump into 2023. Let's be prepared for the changes that are coming. That's why we're doing these updates every single month so that if there is a change, you're the first to know, you're in the know, and you're able to make good decisions in your buying and selling process in 2023. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. As always, if you'd like to get more specific with your home, your lake, your subdivision, reach out to us uh, free of charge and in-home market analysis, which is always the best way to understand the true value of your home. Thank you so much, guys. We'll talk to you soon.